and the milling the fact she's burning to act, it's really not enough. She has nice hands to give the wretched girl her due, but don't you think her bust is too developed for her age? I repeat, Mrs. Worthington, sweet Mrs. Worthington, don't put your daughter on the stage. Regarding her. Oh, that's lovely. I think we're exactly the same Dutch clock. <laughs> right, so ladies and gentlemen. Total concentration now, please. This is going to be quite cerebral. Okay. Do you remember that old interview thing that they used to do? It was in the days when the world was in black and white. No, somebody Harding. Before Terry Wilkin. Gilbert Harding, yeah. It's going to be a bit like that, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the star of tonight's show, a myth, a legend, a living entity, a beautiful human being who we can all relate to at some level. Without further ado, Miss Lauren Harris, please! actually drank half a bottle of gin in five minutes. I was really impressed. <laughs> well, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it properly, aren't you? you know, Absolutely. Get drunk, get drunk. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren. <laughs> and I'm loving your look tonight, Lauren. I just thought I needed some goats to go with it, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I, like I thought red for the occasion because okay. I wanted to look different and scarlet. No, never mind. Do farm goats? <laughs> Do farm goats? Yeah, goats would have been a good idea. You, you collect goats' heads? Yeah. <laughs> we get all sorts here, as you know. <laughs> Lauren, and that's what makes it the wonderful club that it is, you know. We're talking about sheep, goats, any favourites? <laughs> Not really, you know. I did have a dog and his cats, but no goats. What happened to them? Um, well, when they were born in a drawer, um, they all died except one. Okay. Yeah, quite quickly. Did you say you were high on draw? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's easy. A chihuahua. So easy to step on. Oh, no, I've had... You've got a heel. No, I've had... Actually, I've had so much medication now, um, just no medication works. It's amazing. Can I just say, your fresh face that you've got tonight, are you no longer on medication? Actually, I've just stopped taking antidepressants, which is really good. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it is. What, because you decide you don't need them any longer? Well, I was I was working on a, a project, because my producer would tell me, I'm not allowed to say what it is, but it's for the television. Oh, really? it's, a, it's going to be, it's very, very good, and you see the real me, which is not exactly what you see on the internet, you know? But it's not, oh, I know, look, YouTube. I, oh, Lauren, my God. Lauren, when I was appearing at places like the ICA, I used to say, please don't record the shows, let them be ephemeral, let them just exist in your subconscious. I know. Well, <laughs> even, no, even then I was slightly no, pretentious. It's, it's, it's not, <laughs> no, it's not that though. I actually told them I wanted to see the tape, right? And, and I actually watched it and I couldn't believe it. I was... I was yeah. I mean, no, in I a way you were fantastic. The I saw it. I yeah, but just... in a way you were fantastic because it was like that wonderful film which inspired a song by Susan the Banshees, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> because you were so many personalities. I know. I did, within no, so I... few minutes. Very depressing weeks I mean, everybody got the monitor. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I liked it because at the times we'd been from the north of England, and of course we've got a big kinship with Wales. 
<laughs> you did so. <laughs> Came to me like a little drunk queen. I know. Not that there's anything wrong with that because Ron did very well on this very stage. <laughs> I know. Well, I was doing an educating Rita, which is a monologue, and when I was automatically on the stage, it's way into the monologue because I was so drunk. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. But um, yeah. So are you, you can ask me the question. Well, all I'm doing is my nails are dropping off one by one. <laughs> Well, they look nice when you come on, but they're not practical. <laughs> so now, all my life, people... No, I'm glad that I'm not going to be passing anything solid. <laughs> okay. So, all my life, people have said to me, ask me questions. So, what do you want to ask me, David? Why are well, you inviting me here? First of all, why I've invited you here, Lauren, was because... To see me so The last well. time you were here, yeah. Well, the last time we saw you here, it was very experimental. <laughs> it certainly was. You were, I think you were finding out who you were, and there was a complete sort of shower of personalities happening around you. Well, I had to have, I'd broken my foot just before, and I was very distressed, and, and I had to cut the cameras off, and I had so many problems with my photographer, and then finally, I saw the gin bottle, and I thought, well, what, what and I saw this What do you do? What do you do? Exactly. Exactly, I mean, and I don't drink gin ever anymore, I don't drink it anymore. I stopped drinking gin when I was 18. Did you? I bet you did. I stopped when I was 14. <laughs> but I went to a party, found myself at the bottom of the steps crying, and I thought, this no. is no way. <laughs> No and you've drunk ever since, so did you stop? Well, I don't drink anymore, any white wine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there were those three blackouts in Australia, but I think some of them are I know, I have blackouts, it's terrible. I have one, I don't Oh, even... you can't remember. When I did this last show, I couldn't remember a thing. I couldn't. Have... And then I looked at myself in the room, and I was actually recording on my TV, you know, my web page. And I, and I was looking, oh my god, my father was there, my mother was there, my family were there. I just ran up and cried. It was terrible. Donna, I know the feeling. I've brought out a DVD. Oh my god. And I mean, there will be people close to me that will see that and think, why? <laughs> You really have to tell the ladies and gentlemen things like that. You know, in a way, Lauren, I think everything is to do with truth and our truth, and that's why you're here tonight to tell your truth. Because yeah, yeah. You've made big decisions in your life. There may be well be people here in the auditorium tonight. But what I what I want to do is because the what? last time the audience asked some questions and I was too drunk to answer them. <laughs> well, you did your best, though. You're still I know. Well, when you're like this and you're going, I mean, they said I was like something on the Exorcist, you know. <laughs> but, uh, Which, let's face it, is a wonderful film. <laughs> Yeah, but then maybe your father should change his perspective. <laughs> I mean, it's all no. right. Parents being a little bit social. Oh, you shouldn't yeah, be doing that. You shouldn't be doing. They should move on. Yeah, but under, under the, you know, under the circumstances. And also, I think a lot of parents should take acid. <laughs> A lot of people to do, you know. I, I agree with Patrick. I actually think it's sinful, especially lower middle class parents don't take enough drugs. <laughs> anyway, if there's anybody in the audience who wants to ask me a question, you're welcome. Yeah, but darling, it is my show. <laughs> It's great to have you back on the stage here at Magazine. First, I wish to conduct an interview with you, then we will open Okay, well, I was just wondering when you were going to get on with it because you haven't asked me one question yet. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I don't need nails. <laughs> Lauren. You've shot yes. all this play, what was your journey like, darling? Fine, yeah, it was first class, because I owned Well, I know you insist on first class. Oh, yeah, I insist on a whole... I'm a B&B, you should see it. Well, it's nice of the ladies and gentlemen to know where the 6 dollars is going. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's on the last minute they said when you were changing your hotel, and then I had to go to another one. And that's all your fault, David. No, it's not my fault. The show is produced on um, the the star. I see. <laughs> This is what I was saying earlier on about those of you that want free tickets. Don't hassle me, please. I'm a sensitive artist. Um, if you'll just sort of He's sensitive it. deep inside, but he tries to make people realize, like, you know, not quite. You're sensitive, but you should show him what I think. He does. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Lauren, look, 
you want to live here, like, that'd be very bad.